morning and good afternoon. I'm Rihan Bassam. I'm a veterinarian uh, with the PhD in biology. I'm the head of animal prevention department at the Lebanese Ministry of Agriculture. And I would like to give an overview of the situation of rabies disease in Lebanon. Sorry. Firstly, I would like to start with an introduction about the history of rabies in Lebanon. The information were collected from literature and uh, published reports in the Ministry of Public Health. Animal bites and human rabies cases between the years 1991 to 1996 have been described in a paper that was published by Desiree Ittel in, in, in the year 2000. The bites, number of bites were per year between 122 to 233 with average of 184 bites. In addition, the recorded human cases, the human rabies cases were 11 uh, during that period. The uh, human cases of rabies did not reflect the true incidence of the disease because the reporting system was not improved. Also, there was reduced awareness among people. In uh, the year 2013, the registered number of reported animal bites increased from 380 bites during 2010 till 2012 to almost 800, uh, sorry, 800. Reported bites were mainly from domestic and stray dogs. Notification to the Ministry of Agriculture on animal bites commenced in 2016, but it was private. The disease was diagnosed on animals during the same year. Clinical manifestations were reported on a calf aged eight months. Also, at the same year, Animal Health Laboratory began laboratory diagnosis on rabies virus by PCR. Later on, and based on several notifications from the Minister of Public Health, a joint national committee was established in the Ministry of Agriculture by a ministerial decision issued in 2018. According to the published data for the Ministry of Public Health until last year, more than 2,000 bites were registered and between one to three confirmed rabies human cases and one. Rabipure vaccine against the human rabies was introduced for free by the Ministry of Public Health until recently due to the economic situation in Lebanon. During the same period, more than 60 positive rabies samples were reported from the Animal Health Laboratory. Brain samples were received from different regions in the country, especially from the north and from different species such as dogs, jackals, cattle, goats, and cats. Activities of the Ministry of Agriculture during uh, 2019 and 2020. We started to design rabies surveillance and reporting systems and drafting of national plan of rabies control. The plan was initiated with the support of the, uh, of the twinning uh, project between Lebanon and the European Union. We outlined ministerial decision on managing domestic and stray dogs towards fighting rabies disease. Also, the national committee was improved by adding more stakeholders, such as representatives from the Ministry of Environment, Ministry of Defense, and Lebanese Veterinary Order. It was, of course, updated by a ministerial decision. Steps for rabies control. We had a plan for four steps. I'm just going uh, uh, to talk about a quick view about the first two steps. The first step was considered for wild animals and stray dog population census. The second steps, the step, sorry, 
contained several activities. Training of in involved personnel in the control plan, like the public and private veterinarians and veterinary paraprofessionals. Awareness campaigns for pet owners and people who are living in rural areas and also for displaced population. Piloting the program of vaccination against rabies virus on two government rates where the disease is strongly exists. The constraints that we had during uh, these two years, social and economic crisis occurred later in 2019, such as protests, cutting roads. This was followed by governmental economic impairment and finally currency deterioration. COVID-19 pandemic had a huge impact, not only on the continuity with rabies plan, also on all projects <clears throat> at the Animal Resources Directorate. Daily increase of deceased people and deaths, as well as the lockdown in the country for a long period of time, it has affected our activities a lot. We and the Ministry of Agriculture suffered from shortage and absence of employees, as well as general situation, had a great social impact. Economic crisis led people to seek for securing the livings of their families. The main challenges we are facing now in, uh, is the instability of political situation in Lebanon, which is a real matter of concern. Also, finding wildlife biologists in the context of identifying the wildlife diversity, density, and census. Coordination with neighboring countries, especially Syria, because of the open borders between the two countries. Involving personnel and rabies control plan, whether they were employees or not, and training them. Carry out public awareness campaigns and workshops for animal owners on their responsibility in keeping their pets immune against rabies. As well, people living in rural areas uh, who are at risk of exposure to wild animals. For all the above, fund is a very important factor for controlling rabies. Thus, seeking for donors for such project is challenging and might be the solution. Potential future projects. Our goal at the Ministry of Agriculture is to control rabies and decrease the disease effect on both humans and animals. And while this goal could not be achieved by governmental fund now, we are seeking to work with national and international organizations to continue on our project. The OIE, for example, as an international organization through the plan zero by 30 or the global strategic plan to end human deaths from dog mediated rabies by 2030. Nothing has been accomplished yet. And although it's a promising project, however, it is intended merely to dog rabies. We have also contacted national NGOs to support the Ministry of Agriculture to explore wildlife diversity, such as uh, locations, distribution, species, and numbers. In addition, managing and combating stray dogs and a limited rabies control plan and vaccinating one region or one governorate. Thank you so much for listening.